your friends react to you wearing these and buying these? Like to well, your they know sneakers. me. I mean, yeah, it's not like they're like, oh, Denny, you're so yeah, yeah. With your well, they like sometimes shoes. they'll laugh at me, like you never even wear. You know, we go out and you're always wearing rag and bone. I'm yeah. Like yes, when I go out, but if I'm just you know dicking around during the day running errands, I'll wear. Kind of had a obsession as most people did around my age with white men can't jump. The Billy Hoyles. Yeah, these are these are beautiful shoes. I wanted those when I was a kid, too. I thought those yeah. were so... That's like a real high top. Yeah. That was before everybody kind of went to the quarter, you know. Awesome. Pretty dope. All of this got started because of this shoe, the Jordan 4. When I was 12, I was obsessing over getting these. I was about to play basketball for my school versus just playing around in my driveway. So I was going to get a uniform and I'd been saving my money because I saw a kid at my school wearing these. What is that on your foot? i got to get a pair of those. So I saved up. My mom took me to Foot Locker and at that point the Jordan 5 had already come out. These were no longer available and my little heart was crushed. I never got them until probably, I'd say maybe like five years ago. I bought them on eBay. And that kind of started this whole like me looking at different shoes that I could get and things that I was always like had my eye on but I never was able to get. My junior year of high school, I worked at a golf course. I had an amazing job of washing golf carts and picking up range balls, I drove a caged in golf cart. And uh, Michael Jordan came to my tiny hometown of Bay City, Texas to play in a charity golf tournament. It was, I mean, the city shut down. 18,000 people lived there. It was like the biggest thing to ever come to town. And the people that ran the golf course let me be his caddy. That was a big deal. And I remember he actually did. He, he did tip me even though I didn't do anything but drive him around. I think that all Jordan collectors, I feel like it's just necessary to have the originals. I mean, you can't call yourself a shoe collector without like that shoe. I mean, this is what started the whole thing, you know? It's cool looking, it's nostalgic. These are a rare one of a kind, Jenny Johnson High Five, custom ID made at three in the morning when I was drunk. I mean, I would love to give you a better explanation, but when I say that I was slightly intoxicated, <laughs> I really was. <laughs> I played basketball in them. I was on the basketball team. So I, you know, I played all my games, all my practices. I wore them like, I literally wore the shoes out. I mean, like from the inside out because I wore them so much. And I remember a friend of mine that was playing basketball with me, her parents uh, had took her to the mall to get shoes and she came back with these Bo Jacksons. And I was like, that's not even a basketball shoe. She's like, but look at it. And then I was kind of like, all this bright orange and like, yeah, okay. We would like trade shoes and put them on and I'd put hers on, she'd put mine on. Like, we just thought that was, that we had the coolest shoes. Besides the fours, this would be my, my second favorite uh, Jordan is the 11. I just think they're sharp looking. And now I like the patent leather, even though I used to think it looked like my cap shoes from when I was a kid, taking dancing. And then of course, no shoe collection would be complete without your the hundreds edition Stan Smiths and the hundred editions Reebok pumps. I had a pair of pumps when I was in junior high. I was playing tennis and I bought them because I really just wanted to do that. And it's like the literally the lamest invention of all time. And it totally hook, line and sinker I had to have. I mean, as soon as I saw a commercial where a guy was like pumping his shoe, I'm like, that's what's wrong in my tennis game. This is my favorite shoe, and me and my favorite shoe. Thank you for coming by, and uh, <laughs> we really appreciate it. And I'm gonna tuck this little kid in way past his bedtime. So uh, thank you for stopping by. Thank you hundreds, and I hope you enjoyed my sneaker collection.
This was the most embarrassing part was he was wearing the, the pants he had on in his back pocket. And he had this ink pen stain that was about that big. It was just like, it no, and it was there the whole day. At some point in my like 16 year old brain, I was like, hey, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mike, you, you, you got some ink on your pants. Why did you say these words out loud to Michael Jordan? Or, you know, like, just shut up, Jenny. Just shut the fuck up. I could not believe I just blurted that. I was like, hey, Mike, yeah, hey, man, you get some ink on your pants.